when I did the uh, voluntary science on the ERB2, I already did about three hours, three or four hours of taping uh, two or three weekends ago. And I asked about doing, you know, doing more, uh, you know, taping of opportunity. And so I, that, that question is still out there, really. If, uh, if, if we have the inclination, can we just uh, go grab some this weekend or, or tomorrow or, you know, any, you know, video of opportunity? Okay, Mike, we're going to let uh, Huntsville answer that one. You yeah. have Right now the International Space Station is heading over towards the current position location where Hurricane Irene is settling in at on the Atlantic Ocean. These are live images from the International Space Station of our planet as it passes over. These maps indicate the trek that the International Space Station takes on every uh, revolution around the Earth. And you can see the beginning leading edge now of Irene, the cloud base. Yes, we wanted to let you know that you're free to do any free filming with ERB2 anytime you'd like. You'll just need to let us know so that we can schedule the downlink. What she just said there is they have a camera, it's the world's most expensive 3D camera, it's called an ERB-2. Uh, and they have one inside the International Space Station. And uh, she was giving the astronauts permission to go ahead and do any free taping they want using the ERB-2. 
and she just wanted to know so that she could schedule a downlink and right now the space station looks like it's in between Australia and Africa and actually no it's coming right over I'm sorry it's my mistake it's coming right over North Carolina right now so what you're looking at right here should be the cloud base coming up of the hurricane Again, these are live images of Hurricane Irene. Floating up the east coast right now. See the big green as it floats up. It's green cylinder with two wings at the one end. And there's a better look at it. It's the one wing right here at the bottom of your screen. It's the one wing of the International Space Station. Yeah, right now it's up around Washington DC area. And that's probably just yeah, about Houston Station, this is uh Mike and Ron on Space Ground Two. We're coming across the across the coast of El Salvador right now, looking forward into the Gulf, and we can see some of the outer uh, circular fans that are radiating way out from the storm. You may be able to see those on the horizon. I'll do you a little zoom. Yeah, we see them. That's, uh, that's incredible. There's the outer bands of Irene right there. He's, he's zooming in right now. That's a pretty amazing view right there, Mike and Ron. Thanks a lot for uh, for letting us see that. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a uh, this is a big storm. We see uh, Cuba coming up very soon, uh, and uh, yeah, we're uh, and Cuba's uh, just above this storm in the field of view here. I'm, I'm sorry, just below. That storm is uh, doing a good job of uh, filling up the Caribbean here. And if you look up the very top, the eye wall is starting to now come into frame. The very top, you can start to see the eye wall, it's right in the center. And this is one very large system. Okay, you can really see the uh, the structure of the storm now. It's a classic uh, pinwheel, the outer bands. Uh, we're over the top of the outer bands, uh, and, uh, and and move it in toward the uh, toward the center. We're going to be real close to the middle of the storm. It looks like it's going to be just off of our right side, if you will, starboard side for the uh, Navy folks in the crowd. And you can see how the uh, the storm is going over the islands out here. The uh, you've got the it's just the beautiful turquoise blue waters of the Caribbean with this storm uh, just uh, blanketing it. Well, the view is uh, is spectacular from down here. I can only imagine what you're looking at, Mike and Ron. Here they go. They're getting right over top of the storm now. Okay, the, uh, we're, we're coming close. We ought to be able to see down the eye. It's not quite as clear uh, of an opening as we had yesterday. Uh, you can see the uh, see the structure, but it's it's not as clear. Uh, so it's right down the middle, and we, I think we're going to go close enough to get a video. You see a little bit of blue down through it. That is that is the eye right there in the middle of the screen. And Mike, uh, we're getting word that the storm has gone through an eye wall replacement overnight, and that is why the eye uh, looks a little different today than yesterday. Okay, copy that. Well, you can see it's uh, right in the center of the field of view right now. And of course, we've got right. unmarried video. Uh, as wide as it goes with a doubler, and uh, it didn't come close to uh, giving a full view. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing, Mike. Yeah, we understand that the Irene is still in Category 3 with the, the, with the winds at 115. There's a lot of hot water out here and a lot of people on these islands. Uh, I know they're uh, battening down the hatches. We haven't had to deal with anything like this for a while. And that is... Hurricane Irene from the International Space Station's onboard cameras. I hope you've enjoyed it.